What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, of course, and we're back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to start it off with your girl, Megan the Stallion. So Megan the Stallion premiered what sound like a new uh, record that she has coming out. Little teaser here, Megan the Stallion uh, premiered it on, uh, came across Twitter. I saw the Twitter timeline, so I'm going to assume she put on Instagram as well. So we're going to let you uh, listen to a little bit of that. And then we're going to come back and, and uh, unpack what we just heard. Hey, I'm at the top of my game. I'm who they hate. This shit come with the fame. That's how I knew that I made it. I woke up looking as good. I'm in my prime. These niggas got to get played. If these bitches ain't mad, I need to go harder. I can't let them think we the same. Ass sitting up like a horse. It's pretty like a portrait. Mouth full of diamonds and porcelain. Bitch, I know I'm gorgeous. Little bitty waist, big titties. I don't need no corset. Rich off these endorsements. Shy hoes lazy. I always worry about a boyfriend. Poxy and thinking and think I'm tasting the money. And look like I ate a few hundred. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. it. Sounds fire. It reminds me a little bit of Cobra. And y'all know that Cobra is one of my favorite songs by Megan Thee Stallion. So if she releases this song, I'm here for it, man. I don't know what uh, the name of it is. I know she's on Instagram. Uh, looks like Instagram story. She's got some new grills in. And this is sounding fire. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this little snippet that you heard. If this is the song, I'm here for it. Definitely here for it. I'm liking what I'm hearing. So shout out to Megan Thee Stallion. You ready, B? Moving on to that girl, Beyonce, the queen of music. And despite going 0 for 17 at the People's uh, Choice Country Awards, Beyonce did not win uh, despite having a record on amount of nominations. But she is over in... Paris celebrating her whiskey, Sir Davis. Now, it's been some craziness going on this week talking about Beyonce is getting canceled because they feel as though she has something to do with the Diddy situation and they feel as though Beyonce's on some tapes or some, something or another. And she's over in, Sir, uh, in uh, Paris, France, and people are talking about how she's getting canceled and how no Beyonce lost a million followers in, in two days and this and the third. Well, she put up a picture, this picture right here. She got one million likes in one hour. One million likes in one hour on this picture right here. Her and Jay-Z's over in Paris living their best life, you know, amid the rumors that they're getting divorced. I believe Tina Knowles is over there. She had Kelly rolling over there with her and they're celebrating and just living it up. This doesn't look like the the look to me of someone who's worried about being on some tape, worried about um being on and, and getting indicted. I mean all of this stuff that people are talking is absolute nonsense. Beyonce getting canceled on Instagram on on a platform that she never even comes on. And you guys have to stop this. <laughs> You have to stop it. So shout out to Beyonce looking amazing. Look at this. Look how amazing this woman looks. She's just getting better and better with age. Look at that body. Oh, my God. Shout out to Beyonce and Jay-Z doing it big up in Paris. Moving on to that girl, Doja Cat. Doja. Doja Cat was performing at the Global Citizen Festival. Look at that this performance. Doja Cat, she performed her number one hit, of course, um, Paint the Town Red. The crowd was singing the song word for word. Doja Cat was moving in them heels, wasn't she? Absolutely killed it. You know, Doja Cat right now, is there a better artist, you know, pound for pound? I'm talking about right now. I'm not talking about all time or anything else. Pound for pound right now, 
Is there a better artist than Doja Cat? I don't I don't think there is. I think right now she is the premier artist in music. I know Taylor Swift is amazing. It's up there, but I think right this very moment, when you factor in her rapping, her dancing, her energy, her singing, and you factor all of that into her performance, her stage presence. You know, Doja Cat right now is probably the number one artist in music. Of course, I got Taylor up there, Beyonce, even though she now in her 40s is still up there. Just amazing. Just amazing. She had a little speech as well that, that went by what everybody's talking about. She spoke about, you know, the things that's going on all over the world. We're going to let you take a listen to what Doja Cat had to say. Amazing speech. Right now, right now, millions of men, women, and children in Gaza, Ukraine, Sudan, the Congo, and all across the world are suffering. In times like this, it is important to remember that together we have the power to bring change, love, light, and hope to those who need it most. I join forces with Global Citizen to help people in areas of conflict and crisis, and I know so many of you join me in taking action to earn your tickets to be here tonight. But we can't stop now. Please keep using your voice to help those fleeing violence get the food, shelter, and education they need and very, very much deserve. There is a beauty and strength in all of you who are watching this and who choose to be here tonight. And this is our time to put it into what matters most, and that is life. So shout out to Doja Cat there at the Citizens uh, Festival. And I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, so shout out to Doja Cat for those kind and gracious words. Moving on to that girl Onika Mirage, a.k.a. Nicki Minaj, the queen of rap. Lil Wayne had this to say about Nicki Minaj. He said she is the greatest and most impactful artist from Young Money. In a new interview, and that just adds, you know, that just adds on to people saying, "Oh, there's friction between him and Drake," because people are saying, "Oh, if there wasn't friction, there is no way that he would never say Drake was the most impactful artist, since he is the bigger artist of the two, right?" Of course, you know, Nicki, of course, is huge as well, and arguably the goat uh, female rapper. Um, so she's also big and impactful, but he would think that you would think he would say Drake. That adds to the people's notions that there is an issue going on with Lil Wayne and Drizzy. Now, uh, Nicki Minaj, of course, is on the second leg of her tour. It's coming to a, a close in October. Tonight she was out in Vegas, and <laughs> she is so cute. <laughs> You know, I when when they, I love she does her little bop. When she does "Moment for Life," I get in my feelings anyway. So, um, you know, she turned up tonight in Las Vegas. I love when she does. <laughs> She's so cute with her little self. Um, Nicki Minaj uh, made an, an announcement. She said uh, the Pink Friday Two era is officially coming to an end. But she said that her next era is going to be bigger and the her most bigger and most impactful era, that's what she said. Big and more impactful. So Ooh, this this era was pretty good. But she says her next era is gonna be a bigger and more impactful. So we definitely can't wait to see that. Um, a lot of people were saying that tonight's show in Vegas was her best show, but I think everybody, I think people, whenever she comes to their city, they're going to probably say, oh, it was the best show. 
But, you know, I'm talking about people outside of Vegas that, that saw the clips and stuff like that. They were saying that, you know, she looked, this is the best she looked on the second leg and the best she sounded. So, shout out to Onika doing her thing on the Pink Friday 2 tour. And we look forward to the next era. Moving on to that girl, Ekelis. Cardi B. And she is tearing it down in Paris Fashion Week. She's been pulling up all week. She pulled up in the all black for her hosting gig at Lac, Pat, uh, Lac Paddy. She before, you know, she was dancing and singing to us to her hit Bodak Yellow. She continued out at the Alexander McQueen show with this outfit on. I mean went over to Vivian Westwood show with this outfit on. She had changed about four or five times. I mean, people are just giving her rave reviews. Cardi B effortly snatching back her fashion crown at Paris Fashion Week. I can't wait to see her snatch back her music video crown too. She's been giving bees enough time to, pl to flex. Playtime is over. I mean, everybody's talking about all of her looks that she's been coming out with. Now, I believe this right now is going to be Cardi B's retirement plan. From what I've been hearing, she is going to be getting with Rick Owens, right? Um, and if she does not do a line, her own, if Rick Owens doesn't give her her own line, He's going to help create a line, her own line. So, so what I'm saying is, if she does not get a line under Rick Owens, then he's going to create a line for her own line for her. So that's what I'm hearing. Uh, that Cardi B is going to be doing. She's been meeting with Rick Owens, um, and his wife is Michelle Lamy. I believe you You all know you can't go through the fashion world without going through Michelle. So, you know, the album, from what I hear, you know, it, it's just about ready to drop. Now, I don't know when she's going to drop it. You know, she just kept saying soon, soon, soon. But this right here, fashion is what is going to carry Cardi B, you know, well into her 60s, 70s, or what have you, because she is undoubtedly the best female rapper dress, that best dress female rapper, and it's really not even close. You know, I love some of the styles that some of the other female rappers have, the Nicki Minaj's of the world, the Megan Thee Stallions, the Saweeties, but Cardi B's just on another level. It's on another level. So I'm looking forward to see what she has in the fashion. Well, of course, I'm looking forward to the music, but I'm looking forward to seeing what she is going to come up with next. As, as far, far as this situation with Offset, now there is a rapper, YSL Mondo, who claims Offset called him because he DM'd Cardi B. Um... This guy, YSL Mondo, also is a ex-boyfriend, I believe, of one of Offset's baby mamas. I think her name is Kaya or something like that. But we're going to listen to what this, uh, what YSL Mondo had to say to Offset. Hey, we got another one that bites the dust. We got another one that just fell for the bait. Man, this bitch that called my phone, man. Damn, bro, why you playing with a nigga? Hey, this on God, don't let me wake up tomorrow if I'm lying. Well, I hear, well, I hear, well, I hear. This nigga just offset, just called my phone. Bro, why you playing with a nigga, bro? Da -da -da -da. Hey, man, the truth hurt. You should have been on the internet with your business, my boy. Don't get mad because I'm posting shit on the internet now, but I'm speaking the truth. Now you mad at me. Don't go to call my phone, whole ass nigga. We ain't going to do that, Tinder man. We ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad because... I smacked one of your baby mama and I and I Now when he says I smacked that means smashed. Just let you know. Try to fuck me. I ain't gonna say fuck take that back because ain't no disrespect to Cardi, but 
I really would just let her know, man, you need a real nigga in your life. Why you letting a nigga drag you through the mud? Like, don't go for that. He basically said he was trying to get with Cardi B, basically telling her, you know, what kind of man will leave you standing in the cold? <laughs> but the but the hip hop version. Hey, baby, you feel what I'm saying? That's how I came in a deal. And you cop block because she went. You know what I'm saying? You cop block. Why you telling the butter? So he basically said he smacked uh, your other baby mom. Later on, he went on to say he smacked the wrong baby moms. Um, when he basically saying he should have smashed Cardi B instead. So then, I believe Offset's baby mama Shia, that's her name, Shia Lamore. She came back and said something to YSL Mondo. So let's listen to what she had to say. Somebody please get a man some attention, some clout, whatever it is that he's seeking. Cause I, I guess, I guess cause Woody Payne is ass just, he's trying to find any rap relevance that he can. Somebody please give him some paper. Give him a job. Uh, put a, put, a, put a, a warehouse somewhere. Got them. Do some, do something other than talk about other people. How you want to talk about who, or who pee, or who no, you you brought me one bag the entire time that, that we was together. Now I had to go in with you. You was mad that I was even trying to get you to get it from me. I had to put 500 on it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That, that shit sound crazy, right? Like, like you running the six figures, but I can't get you to buy me a $1,500 to spend 20 plus racks on your attorney to, to save you from doing 30 years in jail. Ah, <laughs> uh, but you think you the cat? So there's a lot of beeping out there, but she was basically uh, answering back this YSL Mondo dude, basically saying, you thinking you the catch and I, I couldn't even get you to buy me a bag, a $1,500 bag, and you had to, you spent 30 k on your lawyer to sit, and stay out of jail for 30 years, or so, whatever she was saying. Couldn't really understand what she was saying, but that's all says baby mother, basically saying that dude is clout chasing. Um, Offset, from what I see, has not responded back to dude yet. You know, dude said that he called him and basically begging, whining, and crying. How, why are you trying to play with him? This, that, and the third. So, we're going to see if Offset responds back. This whole thing is just silly to me. Um, you know, Cardi being Offset going through their, their thing, let them go through it. You know, dudes, but... That's dudes. They're going to crawl up in a girl's DM, especially when she just broke up with a dude. And they're going to try to holler. So shout out to Cardi P. And we're going to close up with your boy Diddy. Continues to get in hot water every single day. Now there is a lawyer um, by the name of Ariel Mitchell Kidd. She's speaking out. She has a client that is... Uh, one of the latest lawsuits on Diddy said that Diddy uh, essayed her in 2018. But she came on, she's been going on talk shows, and she says that um, they are Diddy tapes. The black market tapes are circling around Diddy. Diddy is, uh, these tapes are being circled around the black market involving Diddy and uh, another high profile celebrity that is bigger, more high profile than Diddy. And of course, everybody is thinking it's Jay-Z. They're saying that, she's saying that this tape is of pornographic nature. So, I just want y'all to take a listen to Ariel. I think it's Cap. I do, don't believe for one minute that there are any tapes going around with, with Diddy in, on the black market. You know, TMZ, seeing that they would have had it already. Right, so I believe it's just her trying to get, um, you know, somebody to settle out, or she's trying, or she's looking for clout because she's been getting a lot of clout from this, going to different shows, saying she hasn't seen a picture of it. I mean, she hasn't seen the video, but she's seen a still of it, the, with the deep fake and the AI that's going on nowadays. I wouldn't trust that one bit. So y'all can listen to Ariel. And then uh, leave your comments down below what you think. 
I said before, I would be literally shocked and be willing to bet anything that just have nothing. Jay-Z is nowhere on those tapes. You let me know down in the comments if you want to take that bet. But you got to be willing to bet money because I got my money. And you better be willing to put it up. We can have it held in escrow. And then when whatever it comes out, the, uh, the things with Diddy come out, if Jay-Z is on that list of these tapes, you'll get the money. If he ain't, I take the money. So y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all want to do. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. By someone who wanted me to essentially represent them in the sale of one of the Diddy tapes. So, um, which I declined that because... Uh, Wait a minute. That, say that again. Say that again. Back up. Uh, you're saying that there's tapes and they're being shopped? Yes, there have been people already shopping. We've heard about the tapes. But yes. Was, the, the shopping thing is... Yes, new. there already have been tapes uh, leaking around Hollywood, being shopped around to individuals oh, in Hollywood. Stop but leaking one around particular Hollywood. person contacted me oh to God. shop a particular video they were right. in possession of right. and to contact the person who was in the video to see if they were interested in purchasing the video before it became a public knowledge. Uh, I've heard this before. So like a catch and kill. Catch and kill, correct. Wow. Can you, and I guess you can't reveal the person who is on No, I can't tape. explain who the can. person was. But Mr. High profile? Combs, Mr. Combs was in the tape and this other person is, I would venture to say, more high profile than Mr. Combs. Really? Sure. Really? And you've seen it? Or I've seen stills of the video. Uh, okay. See, um, there I, we go. So you can verify that. I, I, that it exists, that it's real, that the other person in the video is very visible. It's no question if it's that person in the video and i can tell the video was pornographic in nature oh my 